at all. I'm burning. This can't be. Are we really videoing this? Dude, I'm about to throw the camera in the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh. That's desperation. Oh. oh my god. That's so bad. What is up, guys? What is up? Hey, well, guess what we have for you today? We've got a great video coming, and that's why you're here. So I appreciate all the support. This video is sponsored by Simply Safe. You've heard me talk about Simply Safe's home security systems. I've been running them in my home and office for some time now, and guys, they're sponsoring this video. So thank you so much, Simply Safe. Let me quickly tell you a little bit about Simply Safe. First of all, it is an easy to use home security system that is free from contracts and hidden fees. Easy to install. Like I've said before guys, you don't have to hire a big crew to come out and do it. You can literally install it yourself like I have. Just 50 cents a day and Simply Safe has some really cool intuitive products like the Simply Safe door lock, which is awesome. It's got a keypad. You can give people codes and let them in and out. You get an alert whenever someone enters or uses the code so you can keep track of who's coming and going. And they also have an HD cam and they have a brand new outdoor kit, which I'm going to show you here in just a minute. So guys, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to simplysafe.com forward slash Scott Martin. Do me a huge solid and check out Simply Safe. They've got tons of cool new things always online there. Simplysafe.com forward slash Scott Martin. Now, let me show you what's in this box. Oh yeah. We're going to outfit the whole property here. Cannot wait. And we're going to put an outdoor camera here on the property so we can see little baby sitting here in the water. All right, so here, Simply Safe keypad, very easy to install. Smoke detector, that's right, smoke detector. There's a fire, you're gonna get an alarm. Carbon monoxide detector, yeah, that's the stuff you can't smell. Smart lock, that's right, it's smart, guys. I have this on my home and office, I love it. Smart lock is the real deal. Bam, video doorbell, that's right, someone comes a ringing, you're gonna see who it is, the trusty base station you gotta have one of these this is the brains for the whole system panic buttons entry sensors panic key fobs freezers for freezes motion detectors you always need those a little motion going on around your property you need to know who's doing some motion and glass break yeah that's an important one now guys i've been telling you all about what i've been waiting on right here the simply safe cam boom how about that okay now the other thing is that i'm excited about with the simply safe cam is boom simply safe outdoor kit all right so i need your help we've got to figure out where to install the hd cam along with the outdoor kit which is going to keep this thing kind of weatherproof I'm thinking we're going to put the cam somewhere right up in there and that's going to keep it weatherproof and that's pointed right at baby it's pointed right at baby and that's what we want the reason we want to keep track of baby is because i'm not always here and we got to keep track of baby so now no matter where i am i can log on to my phone log on to the simply safe app boom there we go i can see if anybody's doing a little motioning around my house or check on baby make sure she's sleeping soundly right there and ready for the next fishing trip so speaking of fishing trips guys look i'm gonna finish installing all this stuff but first we're gonna go fishing you ready let's go Good morning, everyone. We're down here in the Keys, and uh, we're going offshore today. We've got the Freeman 42 down here. We've got the boys in there getting ready. You know, in the previous video, you watched us going to the Gulf of Mexico, making the run from Sarasota all the way down to Alamorada, over a 300-mile run while we fished. We caught American Red Snapper. We caught Grouper. We caught a big Kingfish. We had a lot of fun. But today, it's all about going to the Atlantic, switching up gears, going for Dolphin, Wahoo, kind of whatever bites it's gonna be a lot of fun so I'm getting some stuff rigged up today it's gonna to be some live bait but a lot of things like these big live target swim baits big trolling lures stuff like that it's gonna be a lot of fun we also fixed the motor last night if you again watched in episode one you saw that we had an issue 
with the boat. Major issue. We got it fixed. And so these guys are hopefully getting up. Because we gotta go. Jojo, you ready? Dude, I am ready. Day two, vice versa fishing. It's on. What are we gunning for today? Anything that's got a mouth. Yeah. Like, <laughs> anything that eats. Anything that eats. Possible sail cats. Sail yes. cats. We're going to be deep dropping for sail cats Trump, today. Trump. Stay tuned. It's going to be a great episode. We've got my boy Brock. Sarasota, Tarpon Guy, Tarpon Coast Charters. we got Joe Joe. Everybody knows Joe. We all love Joe. And we brought along Corey, which is right there. How are you? from Sarasota Morning. Well, Oh yeah, Corey's That's the man. our pretty boy. Yes, yes, he's our he's our boat model for today. <laughs> then we have Joe's son, Caden, which is uh, I think he's still asleep. He he may be coming, possibly. Wait, 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 wait. Seriously, so I look like. Kids these days, millennials. Good morning. Good morning, sunshine. I walked in there a minute ago. He looked like a he looked like a baby raccoon all snuggled up in a little nest. Yeah, a little baby. I'm like, we got to go, man. All right, boys, y'all ready for this trip? Not quite as far today. Or maybe 25, 30 miles. Look for some birds. Look for some dolphinos. I wasn't little, dude. Why is my drag locked? Yeah. So maybe we'll get another shot at these. He had a big black fin tuna on the on the last spot. Big fish, man. His drag was locked down and just about pulled him in the ocean. Oh, they're jumping right there. They're busted. I'm they're busted. You want to drop back? We're gonna get something. Oh yeah. Drop the bait back. fish right here is probably one of the most delicious fish that swims in my opinion. Actually, you know what I'm about to do? You want to see me take a bite out of him right now? <laughs> I'll cut a piece out, should I? <laughs> now nah, we'll sear this thing up with some sesame seeds and some... Nice. It's called the Alamrata Hump right here. So it's like 700 feet deep right here on the Garmin. You can see it's 700 feet deep. And it comes up to 400 feet right here. And there's a lot of fish, so this Gulf Stream is going at like, you know, three miles an hour. And it's going this way, so it, the current pushes up like a big, it's a big mountain. 300 foot tall hill underwater. Current, big updwelling, and a lot of fish hang out around here. Every species you can imagine. From tuna, to dolphin, sailfish, everything's on the hump. Bring up that other one. Start getting real cranked up. Just slow it down to an idle. I got you, Jim. Good job, JP. Good job, dude. Maybe it's another tuna we can eat. We actually have sushi tonight. Yes, sir. Eat it on the boat, possibly. Oh, that's a skipjack. How cool and 
pretty is that fish right there? Look at the blues in the back of him. Yeah, that's awesome. You running a straight braid? Uh, no, I won't be so no. That's burning. Feet at all. I know it's burning. <laughs> Look at that feet. Oh, that's awful. That's awful. Damn. Are we really videoing it? Dude, I'm about to throw the camera in the water. <laughs> Happy birthday, buddy. It's in the sea, man. It's just... Jellyfish, dude. They'll get you. I don't know if this will help it or not, but if that's a man worth they burn, brother. Just gotta wait it out. Portuguese man of war, it's a big jellyfish. And it was a piece of the tentacle on the line that we reeled in. And he touched it, not thinking anything about it, and it lit him up. I mean, it's like, it's the worst thing out there. It's actually killed people. What would you, compare, got me. What would you compare the burn to? What would I compare it to? Yeah, like being burnt with it. It's being stung by six wasps by my finger at one time. Gosh, dude, that's so bad. It is. It's burning. I was, I was directing the line. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was like, oh, it was on the line. Sorry, buddy. Man. Oh, here's your buddy. So here's hey, one. Hey, see that right there? Here's your buddy. So here, this is a man war right here. It's a big jellyfish. It's got a sail on it. <laughs> That's crazy how they have a little sail that pops up like that. You know, it's full of gases and it just blows them along. Wow. I think he's on there. He's on there. He's on there. He's on there. That's a big shiny one. That's a full grown one right there. Good job, vice versa. Good job, gentlemen. Nice fish, buddy. It's fun to play with, you know. Fun to have fun with. We're going for bigs. Bigs. So what we're gonna do is throw this 200 um, milligram vertical jig, butterfly jig, and um, 200 gram. Yeah, 200 gram. Sit on gram. Did I say milligram? Yeah, you said milligram. So 200 gram vertical jig. And what I love the most about these is that you really honestly never know what you're gonna get because you're going through all the different water columns. You know, you can get your pelagics up top and your. All right, drop them down, boys. Grouper, hey, uh, snapper. So let, nice. we're gonna throw it on the hump and see what happens right now. Yep. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. Luckily he's going in deep water. He'll be at 800 feet here in a minute. Oh my gosh. Can't do anything. I can't worn out. Oh, look at that rod, dude. Hey, you need a little kicker inspiration, my friend. Kick some up strong. Serve me up right. Guys, we're not sure what it is. He's been fighting this thing about 400 feet of line. It literally took him back down. It's getting closer because the spool is actually getting pretty full. Yeah, we're getting there. We should keep seeing color here any second. Color, color, color. There he is, AJ. Is it? I don't know. I'm just guessing. He looks slim. Yeah, there is color now. Yeah, finally. Dude, good, good job, job, bro. Good Take your time once you get us up here. Take your time. That's a big one. Oh my gosh. Why don't you guys hit up vice versa fishing if you want to fight fish like this right here? That's what I'm talking about, son. Get you some. Dude, look at the size of this thing, dude. <laughs> that is a big one, man. Big old AJ, Florida Keys. Pretty cool day, dude. Yeah, man, this thing actually really whooped me. I'm looking forward to bed tonight, dude. Let's <laughs> see if he swims. If he doesn't swim, we'll keep him a fish dipping. All right, dude. 
Torpedo time. Swimming down. She gone. She gone, son. Hey, that was awesome. That was <laughs> for a big one, dude. That was awesome me. to watch. <laughs> that was a fight, dude. Yeah. Where's the butt? I don't know, I'm gonna put this on it. Hold on, bro, I'm gonna help you out here. Where's that butt foot? I got you right here, bro. Boom. Guys, we actually let him fish. He's, he's been filming the last two days on our adventures, and I was like, man, we're going to get you on a fish. And we saved the biggest for last, McCoy. Oh, yeah. The biggest for last. Just for you. Oh, thank you. Keep <laughs> that rod down, River. Oh! Jeez. All right, who's going to bet right now that he throws up when he's done? I bet he throws up when he's done. I'm almost willing to bet he's got to hand the rod off before he's done. <laughs> no, I ain't doing that. You know I ain't doing that. I think the puke's coming. I need some water. I got a cotton mouth. Get a drink when it's over, bro. Drink when it's over. Here you go. Here you go. Give him some more water. Give this much more water. Give him some more water. Get it done. <laughs> now I am gonna puke. There you go. <laughs> I need to work out more. <laughs> you don't want any more, huh? Not right now. <laughs> Your water injected. At least. Uh, another 45 minutes yeah, or so. There you go. Yeah, 30, 45 minutes, yeah. I would say. At least 45 minutes. Yeah. Minimum. We can, make this, we can make today a two-part episode, dude. The whole, uh, the whole beginning and then the whole second episode is just you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Scott Martin Challenge, Whoa. episode three. We're going to watch McCoy <laughs> throw up on film. So, guys, this is turning into a heck of a fight right here. I mean, literally, it's been, 20 minutes. I don't know, yeah, 20 minutes or so. Long time. Long fight. We don't know what he's got. It's been a 30-minute fight. If you think you know what it is, drop a comment below. Amberjack, African Pompano, is it a snowy grouper? We don't know, so drop a comment, see what you think it is. Here he is, boy. What do you think? Dude, good job, bro, good job. Nice work, brother. Hey, he did good, man. He did, good. he did really good, really, really good. That's your biggest AJ? That's my first AJ. Your first AJ? Uh, first AJ. Life's wow. first is spoiled juice, son. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna flip. Try not to hit the leader. Alright. Good job. Ooh, great oh, job, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, got it? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. This ain't small, bro. <laughs> this ain't no bull fish. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> ah! Ah! Not an ah! 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 I don't know what this is, dude, but I sent about a pound chunk of Bonita down. Yeah. Scott, look. Uncle oh, cool. yeah, Brock, we gotta keep him lubed up here. No, 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 no. Dude, this, he's not gonna get it, dude. He's not gonna get it. It's the biggest one, I think. Oh, yeah, that's definitely the biggest one, dude. Oh, my gosh, dude, this might be a record. Good 
Dude! How big is that one? Monster! Oh, that Dude, this is big. That's at least eight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh! I got him. <laughs> wow. Woo! That's close to a 100 pound fish, dude. It's gotta be. That one, that was a fish. <sighs> wow, dude. That right there, my friend. Hey, you deserve it. All right, let's get you back on another one. <laughs> three, you got three more to go. All right, I think I, I vote for us to start heading back in, look yeah. for some tune on the way in. Yep. Yes. We gotta get out of the house, guys. All right, guys, we are in. We're back in Isla Mirada. I got the boat parked over there. The boys are cleaning fish. And I wanna thank you personally for hanging out on these two videos. Hopefully you watched the first episode on the journey, getting the boat down here to the Florida Keys. And hopefully you enjoyed watching what we're doing. And it, real quick, I wanted the reason I wanted to do it right here was this is our property here in Isla Mirada. It's called the Martin Family Fish Camp. We've got a little beach here. We've got uh, this main house, another guest house in the back. We've got the dock over there, plenty of parking. And guess what, guys? We rent the property out. So I'm gonna drop a link. If you're down in the Florida Keys in Isla Mirada and you want a nice little vacation home, a good place to park your boat, clean fish, right here on the water, be sure to check it out here. Look at this view, guys. Look at this view. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. The Gulf of Mexico right here behind us. So we'll check the link out. Thanks for hanging out again. Love you guys. We will see you later. Bam! Bye.